Welcome at the observatory of Zdanice. That was the office of the big boss. Now I'm using it a little bit as my personal office. I don't know if you can see something because there is no electricity, there is no water, everything has been shut down. Now I'm using this office a little bit as my storage for, for fragile, fragile things. Let's go to the main entrance. I know it's, it's very dark, but I don't have much light. We're going to the technical room of the movie theater. That's an old Meopta projector in a very, very, very bad condition. With the audio system. Don't forget everything has been installed here in the, in the 1960s during the communist era. In fact, it has been, been paid, the building has been paid with, with money from the Czech Communist Party. What you see here is the one of the piers, I don't know, I will go close a little bit, one of the big piers that support the, one of the telescopes. This, this huge pier is going through the complete building. The building has been abandoned since uh, more than 10 years. The observatory has been inactive since 1998 what you see here we'll go closer is in a corner you find a marvelous 25 centimeter or 10 inch very well made Casagra telescope it's really very well made all the instruments have been made by, by local telescope builders, but are very, very good quality. Well, you see everywhere, you see bits and pieces and educational material related to astronomy. Here, that's a nice one. It's a box crate of a tall telescope, but uh, unfortunately, the box is empty but uh, there are enough other telescopes that you can find here okay oh okay. yeah here a, a tube telescope tube of a 16 centimeter telescope here we're going into the movie theater one of the main places being in the observatory. It's hard to see anything. There are 70 marvelous seats. I will take them with me. If I don't take them with me, they will be waste. Okay, going to the main hall. Everywhere you have frames with educational photos, photos of the construction of the observatory. Not so easy to, to show around. Let's continue. Another, some kind of storage room. Surprisingly, there is also a hotel. 
with uh, 30 bedrooms. That's one of the only room, sleeping room, on the basement. The building is divided in two parts. The original old part where I'm now walking around. That's the second pier of the second telescope. I think this is the pier of the scene, it's is larger, of the 20 centimeter, the 8 inch refractor. The second storage room, third storage room. The building is, is divided in two parts. The original observatory, where I'm now. And then you have a second, more recent building from the 1970s, which is really, I can't tell anything else, it's a horror. Uh, it's a hotel, restaurant, things like that. This is a nice one. That's a, an astronomy clock. I will take it with me. It's the kind of instruments I love. Okay, let's go back to the observatory building. The observatory building is dominated by a big dome. That is the dome of the of the planetarium. Now we're taking one of the stairs. There are two stairs. We have some pictures of the construction of the observatory. Another yeah, should be locked door. You have no idea how much keys I need to walk around in this building. So we are on the first floor. On uh, in the center of the building, you have the planetarium, as I said, and each side you have some kind of an office. I'm entering one of the offices, and this was the library. Uh, I have already made my selection of books. Unfortunately, I have to leave a lot of books behind because I can't take them all. It's a huge problem with transport. There are here, in this building, there are about, I think, 10, 10 15,000 books. I've loaded 70 boxes with books. Okay, on each wing of the building. Okay, that's the bit. Pile of boxes with books. Books about astronomy in Czech and Russian and German and English. So on each wing you have the office, library, and you have the Holy Grail. The observatories. I hope you will be able to see. Now I'm entering the dome of the 16 centimeter for the English people, 6 inch refractor. It's uh, in a four and a half meter dome. Fortunately, it's raining, so I can't open the door. It's a very, very heavy construction. Uh, can you hear the wind? It's creepy. Uh, it's built as a tank, like a tank. Um, that's uh, a four inch uh, chromograph. I was able to test it this afternoon. And 
I saw some details. Not so easy because the motor isn't working because there is no electricity and I need to adjust a lot. I don't know if you can see something. So the, 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 the mount is huge. It's very, very, very well made. Uh, it's about... The mount must be about 3 meters high. And then you have an, an uh, 16 centimeter F10 telescope on it. So it, it, it is just entering the four and a half meter dome. But it's a, it's a great instrument. The, everything needs to be cleaned, that's obvious. Don't forget it hasn't been used in the last 14 years. Uh, luckily, it's a dry place. So not much oxidation of rust. Um, here a little bit on the counterweight, but that isn't so much of a problem. So the lenses are dusty, but are clear. Uh, it's a pity it isn't a clear night tonight. I would have loved to to try out the the six inch or the eight inch. I'm leaving the dome. So to go to the other observatory, I need to go through the planetarium. The planetarium was a room for 50 seats. I will also take the seats with me. Unfortunately, the projector uh, is now at the Brno, Brno Observatory nearby. So it's a little bit uh, empty that space uh, with strange sounds. It's yeah, it's typically 1960 style. The the, the planetarium dome is in. Very, 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 very good condition. Uh, it must have been magic. Now I'm leaving the planetarium and I'm going to the next wing. Here on the ground, again, the other 25 centimeter Cassegrain, classical Cassegrain, just lying here in the corner. Not for long, tomorrow it will be put in my car. That is the azimuth, altazimuthal mount for it. And, a, and a, they call it a mobile pier. You have no idea how heavy this pier is. So here we have a, a second office, like I had on the other wing. But this office isn't the library, it's it's a traditional uh, office. One of the funny things is there is a vault here, two vaults here. And the previous owner told me that the archives, some archives of the city of Zdanice are kept here. These closets were full of books. I have made my selection. Again, unfortunately, I can't take them all with me. A nice picture. Nice frame picture, but it's so much damaged. I can't take it with me, unfortunately. Let's go to the big observatory. Stair staircase, can't you see it? No, it's dark. Second observatory, the big one, the dome is also same size, four and a half meter, but uh, the, the scope is a little bit 
bigger. It's a uh, 8 inch, 20 centimeter telescope, Acromat refractor F10, and piggybacked is a 6 inch, 15 centimeter uh, Schmidt camera. I've seen some photos they have made with this camera, unbelievable. Try to show you the mount. Can you see the mount? The mount is again heavy as a tank, beefy, well made, beautifully made. Uh, what can I tell about it? I only can tell it I have a lot of respect for the people who made it and who had the vision to build here an observatory. I hope you can see more than I can see. I only have a small flashlight. Focus up, one piece is missing, but I found it in the cellar of the Weinstube. That's one of the things is I find bits and pieces of telescopes and, 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 and mounts everywhere. So I need to be very carefully uh, and look in every corner for bits and pieces. Uh, I only have one week to clean up the observatory, so I can't miss one bit of it. So we have seen the two big observatories. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Now for me it's time to start to work here. Bye bye.